They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? I'm wearing the unbeatable blue. It's Kelly Banshee Grand from Kazakhstan, playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States in the round this red Kostya, the nightmare, Nikki D. And from Israel in the overpowering purple, it's Raimi, the snake. 96 kids, 12 countries, one goal to be world champion. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley, and this is Global Guts. And I am here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship competition, it's time now to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Hey, Mike, here's a look at the standings so far. Will Israel move into second place? Can Team UK grab that position instead? Or will Team CIS grab its first gold? Let's get going and find out. We're going airborne in our first event, Mo. It's called Slamma Jamma, and this is the event where we find out who is the ultimate royal highness of airtime. Slamma Jamma coming up. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, players will have 30 seconds to try and score as many baskets as possible while the other two players try to reject their shot. The player with the most baskets wins. On your mark, get set. 30 seconds to start Slamma Jamma and Kelly with the fake. She completely faked out Ramey and then went right to the hole for a score. Up again, very strong with the two handed dunk. This young lady from Northern Ireland all the way to the Extreme Arena and already with two baskets and again challenging the men to another score to the hoop, but she's going to have to hurry. Five seconds left, she goes up strong, uncontested for a fourth basket that's unofficial. And as the buzzer sounds, I do not believe that that last one will count. We'll go to Mo and find out the official results for her. Mo. Kelly scored four baskets, Mike. All right, so Kelly. And up next is Kostya. On your mark, get set. Well, you saw the mean face this man was making. And with the fake, the other players, Kelly knows that fake as she comes up for the block right there. Very quick hands for Kelly. Up with the block, but Kostya going up strong for the second one. He has 15 seconds to score his three. Oh, and the block there with Ramey. Making him eat a little basketball breakfast. Kostya going up again. And the block from the Banshee in blue. She knows that move. With the buzzer, Ramey sends that one flying. So let's go to Mo and find out the official score for Kostya from Team CIS. Mo. Kostya scored one basket. So up next will be Israel's Ramey. We'll see what he can do. On your mark, get set. You need determination and power, but you got to finish the play. And right there, Ramey getting up there, stuffing it through. Thunder dunk with two hands getting right up there. One of Israel's finest kid athletes. He goes for the tie right now, but having trouble on the bridge. He's got to get back up on the aerial bridge. The Banshee's going to have to block this one. But no. Unofficially a tie score. Three seconds for the win. He goes up. And if that's good, he'll win it. Let's go to Mo. Rami scored five baskets, which puts him in first place. Kelly in second place, and Kostya in third place. Kostya in red, his nickname is The Nightmare, but his bad dream was a Banshee in blue. Watch this stuff right here. The Banshee had the lead, she didn't want to lose it. Stuffing that right back where it came from. And so when the snake from Israel went up, the Banshee tried to go up again, but the snake slithered in that jam that had trouble getting back up the bridge, but regained his composure, got back there and got the win. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard, Mo. Mike, 
first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Rami from Israel. In second place with 200 points, Kelly from the UK. And in third place with 100 points, Kostya from the CIS. And remember, the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And now it is time to meet this world-class athlete from the UK team who's taken aim at a gold medal dream. Hey, Banshee, Grant, spill your guts. I'm Kelly Grant, I'm from Northern Ireland, and I'm a UK player. My favourite sports are kickboxing, netball, soccer and camogie. Camogie is a game from Ireland. It is played with this stick, called a camogie stick, with this ball, it's called a slither. The best part about Global Guts is the competition, and I'd love to win. Basic training, there is nothing basic about it, folks. All the training facilities in the world cannot compete with our killer course. Our players are going to start up the wall climb, then balance across Monkey Bridge, and then down the slingshot. After that, they got to make their way through the elastic jumble. Jungle, jamming through, jumbling through, up the cargo net, across the Tarzan rope, and then into the airbag for the landing pad finish. Mo. Mike, our players are timed from starting line to landing pad impact. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first, the Banshee, Kelly Grant, went and attacked that wall climb and across Monkey Bridge, holding on foot over foot and down the slingshot she goes. She sets the pace. She goes into this event in second place. So. Our other players will go after her. Now, they are not watching her run the course right now, so they have no idea what their time to beat is. It's just fighting against that clock. So up the cargo net in three steps. Nice work. Hesitation as she got back for the Tarzan rope and tried to get an extra jump on her swing. That cost her a couple seconds, and then there was also hesitation at the top of the landing pad. So let's go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Kelly clocked in at 34.3 seconds. Okay, so all the way from Northern Ireland to compete here, up next is Kostya. On your mark, get set. Kostya's nickname is the Nightmare. And flying up the wall climb. Oh, you see him slipping off Monkey Bridge there. But he regained his composure. Incredible arm strength as he held on to the chains atop Monkey Bridge. And then slipping into the elastic jungle, but he's not going to slow down. He went to one part of the bridge and then saw the opening, opening part right there, the elastic jungle. He's fighting his way through. The time to be 34.3. Let's see what he can do up the cargo net. His foot slipped through. So now it doesn't look like first place time, but he's got to continue to fight his way through because there's one more player to go, and that's the leader at this point as Kostya comes crashing down. So a couple of jumbles in the jungle. Let's go to Mo. Kostya clocked in at 39.8 seconds. Up next will be Rami. On your mark, get set. Rami's nickname is the snake. The snake is in first place. This guy is tall and this guy is strong. Oh, but slipping off the bridge, gets right back up there. Look at it, and a little loosey-goosey down the slingshot, but picking it up in the jungle. Oh, did you see the jungle? Bouncing him back into the middle of it, but he fought through and right up the cargo net. He's going to win this with time to spare if it is all official right there. Let's go to Mo. Rami clocked in at 26.3 seconds, which means he takes first place. Kelly takes second place, and Kostya takes third place. So we check out first the Banshee. She was battling her way, but she stepped back. That's precious seconds she lost there. And then a slight hesitation right before she got into the landing pad. So that added seconds to her time, and well, Spurs will jingle jangle. The snake slither and dangle. Look at him, dangling his feet right back there, but he caught his strength back up there, and then slipping and sliding down the slingshot, right back up on his feet. Look at him, spring shot right that way to victory. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard, Mo. Well, now Rami from Israel is in the lead with 600 points. In second place is Kelly from the UK with 400 points. In third place, Kostya from the CIS with 200 points. 
Oh, yeah, well, we're just starting to stir up the competition. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we're plunging the pool and doing a little dodge it. Invisible boat coming up. You come back. Welcome back to Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for kids. We're going to get right back to our World Championship competition. But right now, time to get to know the bad man from Kazakhstan. Hey, Nightmare, spill your guts. Hello, my name is Kostya Nikita, and I'm from Alma Alda, Kazakhstan. I like swimming, ping pong, and chess, but I love to ride my bike. I like to meet kids from other countries. When I grow up, I really want to be a lawyer, because I like that profession. Well, time to get your paddles moving for our next event, Invisible Boat. Our players are going to be jamming through some world-class jets, but we don't have any boats. But what we do have, we got harnesses, we got paddles, we got three world-class tough kids. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, each player will paddle across the pool and then back. They must touch the end of the pool to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. The Banshee. Boat free. Set the pace. And our third event, the Banshee, is in second place with 400 points. And with the turn, long hesitation getting that kick back there. Really hurting herself on that time as she continues to dig through, kicking and paddling. You see the determination on her face as she's trying to hold on to her breath, getting across. And we'll go to Mo and find out her official time. Kelly clocked in at 27.8 seconds. Getting up next will be the Nightmare. Now, right now, the Nightmare, as he gets lowered into the pool, has 200 points. He is in third place. He needs a first place finish desperately to get back into the game. On your mark, get set. The first thing is the push-off. And look at the Nightmare roll. Oh, yeah, this guy wants a victory, and this just might be it with a great push-off. Look at this guy with the turn and another good push-off. He's into his rhythm, and he's got incredible leg strength. You see him kicking, but now he's losing a little bit of his rhythm in the middle of the pool. 27.8 is going to be close. With the touch, he wanted to stretch right there. And with the touch right there, if that is official, he has it. And he is exhausted. We'll find out if his time is official. Is it, Mo? Kostya's official time was 31.6 seconds. The clock does not stop until our players touch their paddle on the top of the pool. Mike. Oh, oh so the nightmare, having a paddle nightmare. Rami the snake is up next. Let's see if he can hold on to his perfect game. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, the invisible boat game begins for Rami the snake. Look at him, determined to come across and make the touch. Let's see what he does with the turn. And indeed, he does. He forgot the touch. He's got to get back there. Now, 27.8 is the time to beat. He's really picking it up. He's got very long legs and long arms. He's digging into the water. Coming across, his nickname is the snake. But Rami is a tsunami. Tearing up the tidal waves there. We'll have to find out if that is a fish. Let's go to Mo. Rami clocked in at 26.7 seconds, which puts him in first place. Kelly in second place and Kostya in third place. So blasting off with Flourish and Flair, Kostya, the nightmare. He was really moving it because he needed to beat the time of the Banshee, but he came up short. The Banshee set the pace, but when she touched the paddle right here, she was a little bit too far off. She couldn't get a good push off. She hesitated, allowing the snake to slither in and hold on to his perfect game. Let's go to Mo and find out the leaderboard, Mo. Well, Rami from Israel is in the lead with 900 points. In second place is Kelly from the UK with 600 points. In third place, Kostya from the CIS with 300 points. All right, great efforts from all our players in Invisible Boat. And we've got Dodge it coming up. But first, let's meet this Israeli serpent who's striking the competition. Rami, the snake, time to spill your guts. Hi, I'm Rami Cohen, and I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel. 
I love Tel Aviv because of the beach, the sun, and the people. It's never boring there. My favorite sport is basketball, but most of all I love fishing. I like to fish alone and catch the big ones. To be a good athlete, it takes a lot of effort, time, and work to achieve your goals. But most of all, you have to love the sport. Well, you want to experience the thrill of dodgeball while skydiving and dodging, you get the chance. We will have dodgeballs flying at your head from all different angles, whoa, while you are plummeting towards the ground. Let me tell you something, folks. No playground in the world has dodgeball like the Extreme Arena. Mo? Players have 60 seconds to dodge the balls thrown by the other two players. The player with the most hits on opposing players wins. On your mark, get set. And so with that whistle, oh, purple, Rami with the hit right away. And then off of blue onto red. And red getting hit again. Rami has a perfect game on the line and he scores again. And just missing red. Rami is in purple, the snake. But right now, Red looks to be second, and Red needs a good finish here to catch up. The Nightmare just got scored off of his shoulder, again from Purple. And Purple is running away with this event. Kelly needs to get a little bit more of a bounce, and Kelly looks to have a score. Oh, nice aim, good accuracy. Not only do you have to catch it, then you gotta have good accuracy to hit the other players. And not only, oh, another score for Blue. Blue off of Purple. Blue is now in second place. So let's see if Kelly can catch another one. The snake just missed Kelly. Kelly needs to really get out in the center of that and catch another ball. If she wants to, oh, and yes, the score off of red for the Banshee. Purple scoring another off of red. And at the buzzer, we will go to Mo and find out where we stand for the results. Mo. In first place was Rami scoring nine hits. In second place, Kelly scoring seven hits. In third place, Kostya scoring one hit. The snake rattling the competition. Watch the man as he gets another first place finish. Give one to Kostya right off the chin. But the story here, I believe another first place finish still means a perfect game for Rami. Let's go to Mo. Mo? Yes, indeed. Rami has the perfect score right now, 1,200 points. In second place is Kelly from the UK with 800 points. In third place, Kostya from the CIS with 400 points. All right, folks, will you like rocks? You like smoke? You like snow? I'll tell you where you could go. Right behind me, a big peak with the gutsiest players. Never freak. Take a look up close. Super Agro Craze! Welcome back to Global Guts, where a perfect game is on the line. We still got a crag to climb. The crag, the points have gone through the roof. 375 for third place, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo, see where we stand. Mo. After four events, Rami from Israel is in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Kelly from the UK with 800 points. In third place, Kostya from the CIS with 400 points. That is where they stand. Here's how they got there. Watch Kelly the Banshee with a nice fake. Yeah, act like she's jumping off, but no. The other players went down before her, and she went straight up uncontested for a nice thunder dunk. Slamma jamma, but the story here was Rami. He got 300 points for first place. We're going to basic training work. Kostya slipping off, but maintaining his balance, continuing to fight his way. But Rami, through the elastic jungle, finished first. And then we go back into Invisible Boat. We're right here, the Banshee hesitating on her push off. Enabled another first place finish for the Snake Rami to take place. Another 300 bills for him. And then into Dodge It, ladies and gentlemen. Smacking another 300 points. He's got a perfect game on the line. And right now, folks, we're at the Super Aggro Crag. First it was the Aggro Crag, then it evolved into the Mega Crag. Now, the Super Aggro Crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll. From there, hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. And all the a while our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you more. Mo. 
players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one, at the peak of the mountain will take first place points. And Mike. so now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Let's get it started with Mo. Mo! On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, the climb up Boulder Canyon begins. Kostya looks to be a little bit dismayed by the venomous vapors. The Banshee almost missed that first actuator. And the, with the Global Guts Gold Medal on the line. The perfect game on the line for Rami in purple. Climbing all the way up the crag. The rocks have tumbled. The smoke is smoking. The snow falling like a blizzard on the ice wall. Rami at the top. Looks to be punching in first. A perfect game. A perfect game for Israel's Rami. If that's official, he is a guts all-star. One of the few. We got the silver medal on the line. It's Kosya. Kosya for the silver. Or should I say second? It's all unofficial at this point. Because climbing up will be the Banshee. We'll have to go to Mo and find out what's official. Mo! In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Rami from Israel. In second place, Kostya from the CIS. In third place, Kelly from the UK. Well, folks, you've just seen one of the all-time greatest performances by a world champion here on Guts. Look, he slipped, banging into the guard, guarding Bolger getting in, and then it was all mayhem, breaking loose, climbing up the super aggro drag, but nothing sent back the true superstars. Rami the Snake punching in his fifth win of the day. Game. Let's go to Mo and check out that final leaderboard. Mo! Here it is, Mike. In third place today, Kostya from the CIS with 950 points. In second place, Kelly from the UK with 1,175 points. Our winner today, Rami from Israel with a perfect score of 1,925 points. And so... gentlemen, you are here in the National Anthem of Israel because our gold medal winner, our perfect game champion, this unbelievably fantastic superstar, all-star athlete, Rami, the snake, stands perched on the victor's platform. He will hold the glowing piece of our radical rock and bring it back to Israel, showing everyone in Israel that he won here. Global guts. Listen to this extreme arena rock. Number one. That's right, my man. They're going to take a well-deserved victory lap, and the extreme arena is rocking. Listen to this crowd roar. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids, they got global guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. 